Malaysia Airlines is announcing it will close all of its family assistance centers, but the Chinese government intends to continue providing assistance to the relatives of people on board Flight 370. CCTV's Ai Yang spoke to family members at the Lido Hotel in Beijing. Now the responsibilities have uh, mostly been handed over to the Beijing municipal government and the foreign ministry. They have so far set up work groups in Beijing and other provinces. We know the closure of the family assistance center in Lidu here in Beijing means there's no more mass daily briefings for the family members from the Malaysian side. So now the Beijing work group currently undertakes that communication role. They collect and forward all the requests from family members to the Malaysian side. However, Steve today told me that with the assistance, with the assistance center gone, and new personnel put into charge all of a sudden. He feels it's very inefficient uh, with the way how things are being communicated right now. Uh, I've also talked to a spokesman from the Beijing work group today. He told me the government has started providing legal services to help family members collect relevant documents as future compensation proofs. However, he said the actual compensation process hasn't started yet, and so far they're just getting prepared for the next step. And according to media reports, some analysts have predicted that the Malaysia airline may end up paying as much as 1.5 billion US dollars of compensation, which is three times of their last year revenue.